Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our no shots um, or no bullet wasted run where we're trying to beat legendary arm and difficulty without using a single gun or any uh, type of explosive. It's melee madness um, and melee madness only. We're uh, just done with the Black Side facility, and to uh, refresh your memory, we're now rushing into Operation Forgotten Star, which is uh, the uh, retaliation mission ju that just happened after uh, we reduced the Avatar project. Wow, this is as close as it can get, to be honest. Well, let's take a look. We're going to get um, Hogbite here. Yes, he's tired. Yes, he will be probably shaken. But what is what is our alternative, really? We got Zirkim. We got Halo. Oh, we got Halo. Well, that is an alternative. And should we maybe go with Zirkim instead? So that we're looking like poor... Four rangers, and we'll give Hogbite a chance to catch up. Hmm. Is this here strong enough to stop a difficult mission? You know, it probably isn't, and that is the problem. We're currently relying incredibly, uh, incredibly much on Hogbite. Like. Four attacks are what? 24 points of damage, maybe a tiny bit additional damage from the uh, combat protocols. Uh, this is not looking great. Let's still give it a try. I want to give Hogbite the, um, the benefit of a doubt here and, and a bit... and a bit of a pause really okay so make utility items available yes please med kit so that we at least have some healing we got another battle scanner i think that sonar can take that and we would have a second mine shield. We know that the warlock is there. Who's going to beat the warlock is the question. Oh boy, that would mean a lot of damage. How are we going to kill the warlock? Uh, we're probably not. And again, that is a problem. All right, Hogbite. Gotta hate, gotta hate it to always keep him in the loop, but yeah. It is unfortunate at the moment our all of our eggs are in the Hogbite basket, and unless I get a couple more Psy operatives, he will need to carry this run. The good news about this here is we're probably going to kill one or two of the faceless ones, and that means we can finally get a Mimic Beacon. All right, no concealed position means we're going to run into enemies. Oh, Berserks, all right. Well, thank God I have chosen to bring Hogbite with us, right? Right? Killing this guy here. Well, not killing this guy, apparently. Can we move over? Would we move over here? Uh, I want to get away from the Berserk. Trying to assess the line of sight. Let's do this. 
All right, Haywire protocol. Come on, let's steal this guy. 30%. Bingo, we got it. Um, so what are our rules for taking over units? Can we take their, can we use their guns? Probably not, right? Okay, so really moving over here into cover. I don't want to run into anything. So for now, again, moving into cover. Getting far enough away from the Berserk. Position confirmed. Yeah, and just in case Hogbite maybe um, gets shot at or for whatever reason his parry breaks, we're making sure that he's still going to be fine. All right, Perry gone. Well, lucky us, we got uh, immunity against it. That oh, is so fantastic. Gotta love it. All right, next squad is over there. Fair enough. Good. Here we go. Slowly but surely building up this focus. If we were to attack this guy... Huh? Yeah, that's not a 100% chance to hit him. Yeah, but on the other hand, we do have Comet Protocol, if need be. Mm, that is an issue. Suppression does still co uh, count, I think, as, as actually shooting. All right, Evert moves in. Perfect, that guy is stunned. That's exactly what we wanted. Very good. Eight protocol onto the Ranger in the open Halop. And then combat protocol into hitting the mech. Okay, that wouldn't work. Moving over here in the hopes of being able to use combat protocol, which is barely not. That is unfortunate. I didn't want to move to the car because it's already having an open hood and you never know, sometimes these uh, things just 
start to go off. Oh no, 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 no. We don't want to lose the run. Don't you dare shooting. Alright, gotta use our teamwork, unfortunately. Luckily, the Berserk is stunned. Let's see if we we'll trigger, so we can't do that. We can, however, do that. Very nice. There's another pack up here, and we don't want to trigger them. So that is why we're parrying. Continuing to move into full cover. And just for the sake of making fun of the snake, we're going to stay here in the open. Because maybe, just maybe, it decides to take a shot at us. Of course, it wouldn't be a terror mission if uh, there wouldn't be shape-shifting creatures that ha are hiding all over the place. Yeah, and that's not a kill, and we're going to get bound. Uh, I was hoping that that wouldn't happen. Yeah. The stress of battle is enough to get to anyone. When they get home, we'll have to give our soldiers plenty of time to rest. All right, let's give Halo Pier a kill. Target still standing. Arguably a pretty pathetic um, strike. Moving to here. I wish we could hit this guy. Um, but yeah, let's kill the Viper. That'll fill up all of our focus. We're lightly wounded. It's not the end of the world. Roby is taking this kill here. Moving up. And really moving to here so that if the mind control breaks, We can hit it, and we can hit it hard. All right, nice little topping off. Good, as soon as this guy breaks free, we're going to be able to immediately kill it due to Blade Storm. Okay. Wow. So, very much underestimated the range here. Then he exploded it. Luckily, we were immune, uh, so we, we literally took no damage. Get up and get back out 
Divert is standing in the middle of the fire. What's over there? So we're just going to heal his, uh, through his fire. Oh boy, that was a massive doozy. It's one of those XCOM uh, moments where even if you have the necessary foresight, you're like, yeah, is it really going to happen? I figured he would need to double move to even do that, but I was wrong. The only positive in the entire interaction was we got rid of our mech, so that was fine. No, we're just going to literally hunker down. Don't want to trigger anything. Yep, those guys are now coming. Okay, good. Well, guess what? That was unfortunate. <laughs> okay, talking about unfortunate. Oh boy. Hmm. So, how can we maybe salvage that? If we were to school Jake, that would make the situation just so much worse. Could move to here. Yeah, I could move to here, which is literally better. And we're using Comet Protocol to finish that poor uh, finish off this poor soul here. Done. Okay. All right, the real question is, are we supposed to charge in? We need to take pieces off of the battlefield. Else this is probably going to end pretty poorly. Okay, it is what it is. Can't really move away. This is an okay position, to be honest. Not perfect, not bad either. It has at least some sort of cover. Expanded magazine. And I was even considering to go into this mission without Hogbite. What the hell was I thinking? Move to here. It's like what two, four, six, seven, and hog bites minimum damage. It can't can't just go there. What else can we hit? Only this guy. Okay, cool.
I'm just trying to get in line of sight and range with this guy. Pretty sure he's not going to take any shots. He's a Lancer and Lancers are going to Lance. Now the reason why I wanted to do that is... Well, even if he would take a shot, doesn't matter. He's now subject uh, to being smirched. Um, yeah, we can't really do much against this guy other than maybe stun him. And there is a small chance that that is going to happen. Moving to here, we'll enact Blade Storm so that the Lancer at least dies. And if we're really, really lucky, we're going to stun this guy. If not, Roby will take a pretty proper beating. Yep, that's the beating I was talking about. Oh, wow. It's getting messier as we speak. Well, well, well. Revival protocol for Roby. Thank you for having it. Remnant heal for Halo. Thank you for having that as well. All right, so this guy is being taken care of. Gotcha. A righteous strike. Let's make sure. Oh, he's stunned for two rounds. That's just fantastic. Moving up, just so that we can retaliate in case anything takes him out of being stunned. Go. Oh boy, that last engagement costed us quite some hit points. Diva is already promoted. Let's. Oh, Halo is already promoted. I mean, let's give Roby a chance for promotion. It's dead. It has to be dead. Yeah, one small mistake with the f um, with the faceless one here, that costed us one hit. And this year was really unfortunate circumstances at best. I don't know how that could have been played much differently. And I'm not making excuses uh, by reflecting about it. Definitely not optimal. But if we're looking at what we do have available and you end up with a pack of three which is um, three elites, uh, meaning none of them can be killed in one go. And then when you're trying to engage them, you get um, Berserk plus Elite plus um, Stun Lancer on top of it. I mean, that in itself is already pretty much a mouthful. You have to chew through all of uh, their hit points. Which isn't easy. Divert. I think Halop's already promoted. Again, let's try to give Roby here a promotion. That's it. Men is 
Pretty hard for the victory. Probably going to see a lot of sick bay, and with that, a lot of healing. Well, it is what it is. Sometimes war is a little bit more dirty. And we're back in business. So, less bad than I would have thought, with the exception of Halo, who seems to have the tendency of just... He was the guy with 42 days, and now he's back at 35 days. The guy has spent more time in the sick bay at the end of this campaign than an 85 years old grandma. Okay, so with d -Bird, I like the idea of run gun, but what would it help us? Maybe using a med kit? Hmm. Questionable. I'm not sure if run and gun will actually help us because we can't use the gun. It's called run and gun and not run and sort of run. So we're probably going with conceal here. We could use that later for uh, triggering kind of um, blade storm pulls, and we gotta definitely do a five day scan to get our troop back up. Chance to take a shot immediately after going on to Overwatch. Well, that is not our problem anymore because. Um, we're not overwatching. Chance to hunker down in a defensive pos uh, posture after the first move? Yeah, I mean, both of them were already uh, there. Did we get a third one? No, we did not. We just overall look like shit after being into so many missions. Back to back to back to back. But... Oh, we got another Guerrilla Ops. Hmm, that is interesting. That is the unique chance to counter another dark event and get additional rewards, which are usually better than the other rewards. Let's be precise. Yeah, for now, five days of scanning. And uh, then we can end the month, hopefully. Healing is the most important part now. Wonderful Hunter's X just came through. That'll help us. What else could we take? We talked about school mining, right? And school mining would give us additional hack power. That's great. Another school check certainly is good. Um, none of these weapons really help. So school mining seems like a decent idea. Given that we only have limited supplies, what else could we do? We're going to clear this one. Want to build afterwards? That's fine. We still got the black market. So yeah, let's let's do school mining. We'll get started right away, Commander. That'll give us a nice little boost, and we can build the second school check. We have plenty of room. And yeah, let's continue to heal. There's the end of the month, and overall we did okay. He can now, he get, got a summoning ability, that's fine. She's trying to attempt to sabotage us, that is usually one of the worst outcomes. Minus income is okay, and what do we have? Chance of getting Overwatch uh, sounds bad is probably not as bad for us because we do have quite a few um, rangers that could deal with it. All right, we have quite a few rangers to deal with that, and then a risk on of ambush isn't bad either. But maybe the hidden event, uh, event might be a problem. New alien facility in four weeks, so we got a month uh, worth of time. And look at that. So what are we going to do? More power for now means we can continue growing faster. Construction speed increase is good as well. I like it. I like it. Uh, we don't need the bonds yet. Yeah, for now it's good. So here we could get um, more influence, recover loot, combat intelligence. 
A plus eight dodge are fantastic. Um, I wish we could put Hogbite onto that, but yeah, it's not worth it. Locate the stronghold. That would take Sonar out for a longer time. Mm -mm, not happening. I think what we would do is Zirk um, can lead that team again. And yeah, the four hacking, the four hacking are great. We do have two specialists currently. So having that bonus would effectively help us. But it also means we give up Sonar for 14 days. That is a long time. Um, the other option is, yeah, we, there's really no other option. Unless we're ignoring that and we're just going with really basic stuff here. Hmm. Zirkim, I'm fine with giving up Zirkim for now. Believe that. I'm not okay with others. A dodge is okay. Let's do that for Zirkim. And let's use one of our scientists. So, yeah, that increases his combat intelligence. I think he's already a genius level. So that part of it wouldn't would be sort of wasted. Um, there's another option here, to be honest. 50 intel isn't bad. Dodge is still okay. Yeah, why not? Okay, let's do that. And we're giving him the six dodge and a random soldier to support him. Let's use Renvin here. Okay, that that makes sense. Just a tiny bit more healing and we should be done. Okay, perfect. We got the coil freed up down here. We can do a fast excavation with only two. That's fantastic. Meaning this here would go into a power relay, but we need funds for that. Lots and lots of funds. And we can already start the excavation process here just so that we're not wasting any time. Uh, just one second. How are the troops currently looking? Still two more days? Yeah, we... The only way we can stop them is to strike first. And we'll need to work on a covert action with the resistance. We can only visit the black market. I would love to get some more supplies, but time is pressing. So the only thing that we can do is visiting the black market. Let's sell a bit. Oh, wonderful. We need Illyrium a little bit later, but now it's just very welcome that we can actually sell all of that. Founded Magazine, Hair Trigger, yes, yes, yes. And confirming. So let's double check what we need. We wanted to build more energy here. Our relay. Yes. Um, I think we're fine. We don't need to speed that up. We're okay on power. So it's number one. The other thing that we wanted to build is a mimic beacon. Finally got the faceless corpses. And another mine shield goes a long way. Good, we're healing so that we can finish the current process of get, just getting the team back up once they are okay. Should no longer have a problem. 
Ooh, very good. How much does the upgrade cost us? Alarum is okay. Supplies. A lot of supplies. Okay. And that means we got another soldier starting here. And very soon... Very soon we can uh, put a trainee in here. So... Uh, I hate to do that, but... I want to start the training as soon as possible. And then we're healing. So what we're going to do is... Yet again... Selling some Alarium Crystals. How much money do we need overall? We want the upgrade and we want recruits, right? So the upgrade is like what? 225. Let's start with recruiting. Uh, let's start with recruiting. Edgar Allan Poe is becoming one of our Psy operatives. These discoveries of the elders and why not Dark Tarnoxus? We haven't had him in a while. Yeah, Dark Tornoxus is the second one. Okay, good. So now, in order to get more supplies, let's. I'm okay with just starting with one for now. And we're going to shift A Engineer over here. Make the process a bit faster. We're going to get a second cell uh, very soon. First, we're finishing the healing. Then we're going to... Uh, get the funds that are needed and then we're sure we should be fine Maybe we're going for the guerrilla ops Maybe not maybe we're going for a supply rate even faster than that and Yeah, it comes at an interesting time It's certainly an option for us to get even more larium and alloys back at the same time. It is a stretch I might be able to squeeze a few hours in uh, out of here so that we can take Hopbite with us. But that's a risky business. Um, we got Ranger, Ranger, Specialist, potentially another Specialist. Yeah, and then it would be nice to have Hopbite. The other uh, ones are too injured, and we can take Skirmisher. Edgar Allan Poe just starts the Psy training, and once we've upgraded the Psy operative chamber, we're going to be fully functional. We will have two Psy ops in training, one or two months, and they are strong enough to simply be taken onto the missions. With more space here, um, and a power relay coming up, we should be good to go. I mean, this here is ready to go with a resistance ring. We got enough power um, to continue excavating everywhere. And once the resistance ring is up, we might go for an infirmary, to be honest, because the healing times are ridiculously high. And yeah, then a, probably a second Psy lab, deconstructing that at some point, and another power relay up here. Okay, good, wonderful. That brings us to the end of today's session. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the content, as always, please leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in two days. Bye-bye.